So, speaking of a lazy, casual idea for a show, <laughs> Joe, we wanted to uh, talk to you about sort of your new role at Wolf Cool. Oh, yeah. Very and, excited and, about that. Yes, and how excited are you? And make a face that shows me. <laughs> and it's a smile. I can see his teeth. And that, Front, and, tops and bottoms. And it's and that's exciting for me and also scary, scary. because, as we've said, teeth it's are the human skeleton trying to escape from the body and get you. So, so you know, take it easy, Joe. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, but Joe has been hired as our new head of branded content. What's that mean? And I'll give it to the man. Uh, branded content, it's just, it's like regular content, but it's even a, a little bit better, I yeah. think. Yeah. Because it's helping you make some decisions in your life. Mm-hmm. So many you know products I mean? and which ones do I use? Exactly. Uh, you guys are tastemakers, and, and uh, if you guys are Like sort a of chef? Endorse it. Well, well, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I forgot. like Emerald Lagasse. Mm-hmm. I, I was supposed to say, I'm sorry. I was supposed to say, when you said brand, branded content, I forgot. I was supposed to say, who's Brandon content? And then. That's you, a t shirt. Yes. And and then you would say, like, Knock first, it off, first, first of all, we would make t shirts out of it. And then you'd be like, no, it's not a per, you know, like, you, like you're coaching me through it so other people can, like, kind of help. It can help them understand it. Right. And I don't think we should do it now, but I, this is No, just I don't want to stop down to do the Brandon content stuff where you think that Brandon content's a person. Joe then clarifies, and by educating you, educates the listener on Brandon content. I think this is enough to accomplish that. Even just that we're mentioning that we were going to do it. And it was going to probably take longer than this, mm-hmm. uh, which has been sort of a pithy explanation of what the bit is. Yes, but to do both would take longer than... Oh, yeah. To go back now for the Brandon content run wouldn't make sense. So I always And just to be clear, I didn't help matters because I was supposed to have perfect diction. Yes. And I said branded content. There was no, and and that's why I forgot because I, there was no, there was no mistaking. You're supposed supposed to run through it. To fudge the. I'm I'm supposed to pretend I'm a mush mouth, which a lot of people that know me from my many podcast appearances know that I'm not. But but that was sort of the agreed upon comedic yeah. premise of this entire day uh, was that you were going to be kind of a mush mouth. Hayes was going to mishear you repeat a question, you yes. know, a, un, not understanding what you initially said and then fucking print T shirts <laughs> and the turtleneck uh, that you were supposed to be wearing over your mouth and nose. Right. I mean, it's hot. It is hot. Mm-hmm. It's a heat wave. The stocking cap as well didn't make it all the way to the studio. Mm-mm. So that none of that matters now. We're so far beyond Brandon content. And we shouldn't Who even is, talk about it. Yeah, we shouldn't be. Because now saying it more and more, people are going to be like, wait, is this a person? Yeah, because now it's, get, it's getting to a point where... They're starting to wonder, it, 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 is like, were they, are they going to do it? And this is yeah. a nice long fake out. Uh, yeah, it's teasing that idea. And I also think people are starting to wonder, will they ever get past this Brandon content thing and talk about, you know, what was initially right. conceived to be uh, an explanation of Brandon content, what we're doing with it within our company, Wolf Cool. Yes. A shingle of Calvin and Hobbes Productions. Which is what I'm here for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's the idea. And the answer is, yeah, we're definitely going to do it. We're not just going to spend the whole day talking about Brandon content. That's not a podcast. All the Brandon content thing was, was a fun in. Because you don't want to jump right into something, you know, that's kind of insidery and mm-hmm. Yeah. A little without, heady. Like, give them a little, a little teaspoon of sugar, you know? Okay, yeah, and that's actually, of, this is a great segue. Sprinkle a little sugar on the grapefruit and then trudge through that grapefruit. This is what we're trying, I mean, it's, it's confusing. It sort of, it folds in on itself, but the Brandon content thing is content, but it is also teaching you something important, but it's content because it is funny. It's so you can enjoy it as like a funny thing, but it's a lesson at the same time. Yeah. It's just like Alf. Yes. Because Alf was a show about taking in uh, transients. It was it, that was a public service sure. announcement about trying to get families to take in transients. And it was br- home. It was by the dog lobby too, because 
you know, it's I like dog. Yeah, because it's like stop eating dogs. This guy eats cats. Yeah, and at the he time, he seems to really enjoy cats. You know, at stop least eating try dogs. it. You know, um, at least try having a cat for a meal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, and it also was in some ways about. Nosy neighbors, peeping toms, which was an epidemic at the awareness time. Awareness. If awareness. you remember Mrs. Akmanik, who lived next door. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. we, we the peephole. Oh, right. You, yes. You weren't there, Joe. You but. weren't there, but that's a great t-shirt. So, um, so that's Brandon, all, Con- Brandon Content, yeah, you're not going to hear that name was. again for the rest of the podcast because it was never meant to be even as long as this has been. Uh, and if it goes any longer, I feel like it's going to totally derail us. People are going to, people are going to hear the door open. Cause I just opened the door. Oh, right. Just oh, to who let, just came in. Just to let air in. And, uh, people are going to be thinking like, oh, is like Paul F. Tompkins going to be coming in here to play Brandon content? Yeah. Yeah. The, you know what? Because if so, I, did somebody say my name? If uh, I am a very, uh, if I'm listening closely to this, I hear that door open. I go, yeah. they were stalling. This is a classic. Yes, yes. Paul yes, F. Tompkins yes, yes, is stuck yes. on the set of No, You Shut Up. He can't get down mm-hmm. there. So these guys are just great improvisers. They're improvising their way through this little pickle until mm-hmm. Paul F. gets there. But he's not here. He's not here. Nobody and we're not great the improvisers. And Adomian's it's, not yeah. here. No, no. No, hello, it's me. You know, it would sound like that. A oh, Brandon Contact God. came in. And he's this big, broad character, and he's like, Nile, how you do enjoy your, you know, your, you enjoy your shows, but you also learn about products, like why research products and, you know, uh, have to uh, do content separately, with, not with me, Brandon Content. <laughs> and it's and that is the idea. That we're not doing that, but no. that's sort of what people are thinking when they hear the door open. Oh, I'm going to hear that happen. But it's not. Um, what else might he say? It doesn't matter. He's saying, well, I mean, uh, now that we're in, do you want to go into the, what we had initially conceived? Yeah. Yeah. And sort of start, and sort of start really talking about branded, not Brandon right. content. Right. As it pertains to Wolf Cool and your role within our company, uh, which is of course a shingle of Calvin and Hobbes productions. Yeah. Let's get into that. Okay. You know, um, do I have a couple of Brandon content lines in the chamber? Yeah, but I'll keep them in. There. Yeah, they're packed in, and, they, and because I got a lot of. Um, and that's and by the way, that's not the final voice, the one that I was just doing for Brandon content. It could have been a lot of. The things. whole idea is that it has not been prepared ahead of time, and that's that's literally a spontaneous yeah concoction spon- spontaneous. of yeah. and 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 he and. Paul or James, I'm sure, would have had a much more fleshed out thing. Mm-hmm. That was just sort of a Hanford. crazy. Hanford could have done a totally different. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, Brandon doesn't exist. But what does exist is Wolf Cool, this show. Mm-hmm. Joe, you exist. I mean, I'm a real person. Yeah. Hayes is here. Engineer Brett's here. Mm-hmm. Hey. And so, just to get into it now, I, I, I'm the chief. I'm in, I'm in charge of brand and content for the show, for uh, <laughs> for uh, for the I, net for the for the offshoot for for Wolf Cool. Uh-huh. I'm in charge of brand and content for that, and he is a guy. Um, <laughs> and, Fuck. Did I just say he's a guy? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. He's not. You can't. He's yeah, not. It's a concept. No, I have an intern. I know how it happened. Yeah, yeah. I just got it in my head now. It's rattling uh-huh, around in you're my head. You're picturing and I never yeah. should have done the voice. Well, because also the, the intern, yeah, his name is Brandon and so that makes it that must make it really Oh, well, and God. his last name is Content. I just peeped at my phone for a second, guys. I'm sorry. Somebody just, I don't know how this even happened. Somebody t- added me on Twitter. They drew a picture of Brandon Content, what they imagined he would look like. We uh-huh. didn't even describe him yet. Yeah, This no, is what he looks didn't. like, though. I mean, yeah. I'm He's got a logo. He's wearing a jacket and all these different logos. There's mm-hmm. the Pepsi logo, the CBS Eye, mm-hmm. the Sprite Fox. They're all on there on this jacket. I hate that Sprite Fox. 
Well, he steals your sprites. I, I it just it, it's maddening. Well, you can't. You he can't doesn't enjoy even lemon like lemon lime soda. He doesn't even like sprite, which is the thing that confuses me. He wants to dump it all out. No, he wants to dump it into the ocean. <laughs> And so, yeah, it's a, if you haven't seen the Sprite Fox yet, he's a little bit new, but Brandon Content, of course, has him on his jacket, and he's got a sea captain hat on. He grabs your Sprite, and scurries onto a boat, and steers it out of the ocean, and dumps your Sprite out. And the he's idea, not a cartoon. No, no, no it's a real no. fox they dressed up. That yes. they're holding a... <laughs> They're holding a fox up. Well, and there, so there are human hands you can on see the fox. The, you can see the hands holding the fox up. Even in the logo, it's just a photo of a person who's clearly wrestling with an angry fox. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, the Sprite Fox would be on his jacket. That, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, just top to bottom, all of his apparel would have, it, you know, different brands because... Mm-hmm. That's that's what he's in charge of, getting the word out about brands in a fun way where mm-hmm. it's not so obviously a commercial. Although some commercials nowadays, <laughs> they fool me. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I have had that experience where I feel like what I'm watching is not a is commercial because I'm is, having so much fun. It's a TV show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's almost like Brandon content. What it, is? Well... If you feel like you're watching a show, yeah, and it's commercial, how different is that from watching a show that has in stuff that commercial? It's- yeah, when you make content, you got to have a script, you got to mm, yeah. have a director, you got to have camera, you got to have light, sounds, you got to have sound, mm-hmm. um, but something to play make- it on. Some, like a TV, you know, yeah. it doesn't just exist. to see it. It does doesn't exist without like or computer. It's just something to show it. To I people. mean, does it? I mean, that's an interesting thing. It's kind of tree fall in the woods, you know. Like uh, all those is an unaired pilot content. Mm-hmm. It is, but yeah. nobody's ever seen it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, my dad's seen it, but he said it. Yeah. I mean, what if I sent him, and we're talking about my pilot, right? Yes. And what he says, uh, m- mildly amusing. He just was like, he just he literally he watched it. He went, Jesus Christ, man! I'm not your audience. Yeah, he's not. He's not. And that's true. <laughs> but well, not through your, any design. You were sort of making it. For him to be your audience. Yes, it was aimed directly at him. Uh, I had basically, at the great expense of story and character, crammed in references to everything I know my dad enjoys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brands. Well, brands, exactly. Swiss Miss. Swiss Miss and the Swiss Miss Eagle. Um, uh, That Eagle. He doesn't know how to make Swiss Miss. He's a, yeah. Right. He's boiling it in the packet like a like tea. He thinks it's a giant. He's dunking the Swiss dunking Miss packet. Dunking the packet. The, he yeah. thinks it's a giant. A step up from the Sprite Fox, though, because he wants he it. He wants it so. He at least Fox, is telling me it's desirable. The Sprite Fox wants no one to enjoy it. Because you dump Sprite in the ocean, even if you could scoop up that bit of the ocean, you've ruined the Salty. Sprite. It's going to be overpowered by and, the taste of the ocean. Mm-hmm. And you think, like, is he, like, trying to turn the whole ocean into Sprite so, like, everyone can put a straw into it and drink it? No. But he makes very clear that that's not his intention at all. He knows that that could never happen. The well, Swiss and- Miss Eagle really wants Swiss Miss. What I don't understand are why do the other why do those other birds know how to make Swiss Miss? There's something cute about smaller birds helping an eagle, but where did they get the understanding of Swiss Miss? It yeah. makes it seem like it's a product for birds, something that you'd pick up at Pampered Birds in Atwater. And I don't and and I don't imagine that birds couldn't enjoy Swiss Miss, and that's not my gripe with it. But but that doesn't make people necessarily want to eat it. Yeah. should have a person helping the eagle, or you should have a person scolding the eagle going, 
you silly eagle, this is not for you. This is for us. From a safe distance. <laughs> yeah, because it's a real eagle in that commercial as well. Yes. And you can't restrain an eagle with your hands. No, I mean they—they. They, it seems like you can see people kind of reaching out to grab it, but it's way up in the sky. Mm-hmm. It's like really yeah, far he's way up there. It's really far away. Well, yeah, there's the a guy end. leaning out of a plane trying to talk to it, which again, that's you know, and it's shot from the ground. Yeah, you can barely tell what's it's going on. It zoomed way in, and it's very blurry. Um. Anyway, that was in my pilot. Uh, and your dad just said, Jesus Christ, this is not for me? Yeah, hey, I'm not your audience, he said. Oh, okay. Which is, uh, you know, I would argue that's not true. I only made it to show him. And I spent a good deal of time in, in, in the financial. Uh, but anyway, uh, but yeah, there was the Swiss, yeah, the Swiss Miss Eagle, of right. course, the, the Chase Bank Wasp made an appearance. Mm-hmm. What makes him a Chase Bank wasp, I'm not sure. I, th- so that thing really doesn't make sense to me because the implication is that if you use a Chase ATM, the Chase Bank wasp will fly out and sting you on your eyeball? Why would I ever, ever want to use a Chase ATM? And it says... I, I, well, and it's all the fees, too. And it says that this will happen to you if you use... Chase ATM, they seem to they seem to think that 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 people will enjoy that. That's not a strategy that a lot of banks use, which is they're trying to get people that are like, "Is this for real?" to get down there, and then once they get to the Chase Bank, a representative is out there and going, "It's not real." But now come yes. on and let us tell you why this is a great bank. Is yeah. that what is that what happens? Because I've been terrified to try it. Yeah, I'm curious. But I just don't, I mean, I don't want to find out for myself because if it is real. So there's two scenarios for me. One is I feel like I've been lied to. I get the money, okay, good, but I pay all these fees because it's not my bank. Mainly because they've been advertising they have wasps. The second scenario is I haven't been lied to. I'm not betrayed. But that wasp comes and really gets me. (laughs) And really stings me on my eyeball. And... It's that's mean, and it's mm-hmm. it's sorry, which I appreciate. Like, I like that it. Yeah, it immediately it doesn't take any joy. Yes. Yeah. it's like this is what I have to do mm-hmm. because of because Chase Bank is making me do this, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you see, and it's dying as it's sorry. It's very sad because you know it pulls its whole guts out, which. Just that visual. I hesitate it's, to even talk about it, but the visual of the stinger going into somebody's eyeball, and then you watch the intestines or whatever they are, that wasp being like dragged out of its thorax. Yeah, well, to explain, they zoom in on the wasp's face. It feels a great deal of shame. It turns its stinger upon itself. Because, of course, it's not a bee. A bee, one sting, and it's dead. Yeah. You're not implying that that's what happens to the wasp. No. No, it turns its stinger on itself and then, you know, rips its own guts out mm-hmm. with the stinger mm-hmm. as a, in by way of apology. Um, yeah, again, it's a mixed bag for me. I, I like that it's not happy it stung the eye. But I don't necessarily want to see this. You'd just you rather know, it not have happened suffer. at all. <laughs> yes. Why did it do it? And in so many variations on the spot. So ma- so many bank commercials are just white noise. And I yeah. you know, what I do like is that one really gets you thinking about, you know, the world that we live in right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right. Because the banks are corrupt. Too big to fail. Mm-hmm. Will you speak on that, Joe? That the banks are too that about how the banks got so the big. Banks are corrupt, too big to fail. Mm. Yeah, you know, I think part of the problem with the whole thing is regulation. There should mm-hmm. be a greater degree of regulation. Um, I think interest rates are bananas right now, and I also get worried about the standard. Swamp, 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 swamp. And that's the sound, of course, of the AIG jellyfish. 
And we do, and we start talking about business regulation as yeah. one of our sponsors now. Part of the brand and content that we've incorporated into the show is we have to mention that the AIG jellyfish does come and also does sting someone on their eye. <laughs> Now, it's yeah. less of a willful decision on the part of a jellyfish. They sort of go where the current yeah. dictates. Right. So it is less malicious, but it still just seems like an odd. And I guess I get it as like go with the flow is sort of AIG's whole idea. Don't look too closely at us or what we're doing. Mm -hmm. That's something that all the banks have in common right now. Yes. But it, yeah, even that, it just seems, and I shouldn't even be saying this, but it seems strange to apply, you know, for that to be your brand in. Well, just to you got to run. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. No. Sorry. Okay, the way you like, the way you wound up well. With well, I thought like, you were gonna well, say thanks for that's it for me coming on the show. No, yeah. Well, okay. But what were you gonna say? I, I think that you know commercials are content, and content are commercials. Just to need to use two at once. Yeah, Brandon well, told me that. Who? Yeah. Who? <laughs> oh, it was all set up for the real. We told you that it was that he wasn't the Paul F. Tompkins wasn't going to come in here and be branded content, but that was only so when he did come in here. What a, what an amazing thrill it would be! But actual having Paul F. Tompkins on the show to play branded content. Sorry, stuck in traffic. Boy, I really got to pee. I really got to go pee. Well, Paul left. I think he went to the bathroom. Yeah. But that was such a thrill to have Brandon content here. And it kind of makes the whole episode make sense. And re in retrospect, it makes it actually it was good. Go back happened. and listen again, and you'll hear all the clues that were set up along the way. <laughs> well, Andrew T's coming in. Oh, yes.